Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms. Today I'm going to show you the basic construction of the Caterpillar Tunnel I'm standing in right now. So here's a tunnel. I built this last spring out of top rail and a bunch of connectors from an old carport. One of those cheap uh, metal pole ones that fell apart. Basically a cat tunnel. Got a line running back and forth. Down here in the clips, I got these from Jeremy Garcia, he came up with this idea here. If I can get one up out of the ground. Well, I'll show you one. So here are the clips that hold the cable down. You drive your rebar in the ground, you slide this over, and then your tube goes over the top. Uh, Jeremy Garcia actually came up with these. These are actually bearing washers for uh, uh, building a house. You use these to secure your bottom plate to the foundation wall through the bolt that comes up out of your foundation. Then he just drilled a hole in the corner and attached a carabiner on it. That way you can easily clip in and out with your rope. Make for quick construction. Now on both end bows, I did channel lock and wiggle wire. That also helps with the stability of it because the plastic kind of locks it all together. With the carport connectors and a solid ridge pole, it makes it extremely sturdy up top. Just have it buttoned together with screws. Then for the bows, 10 foot piece of top rail, 10 and a half, that's what it sells at. I got one bend here and another bend down towards the bottom. I did add 16 inch pieces of pipe extension on the bottom. So if you put the swedged in down at the bottom, you can cut pieces and slide it on easier. Drove rebar stake in, just like a regular cat tunnel. Dropped my clip over it. And then on the corners over here, I put in some diagonal braces. That really helps with the, keep it from rocking. I did add an end wall with a door on it. Pretty simple design. Just cross the bottom, up for the frame, screwed it in through the pipe. And just continued all the way down Still haven't got the other end wall. I did find out great for opening these. Just get some regular clamps. Push it in when you don't want it open. When you want to open it up, you raise up your plastic and just turn it outwards and it sits right on top of it. Works great. Now to make the bows, got my piece of top rail. I came down four foot and put in a bend right there. And then I came from the bottom here up three foot and did a continuous bend up to the three foot mark. There's a continuous bend for three foot here. And then just a single bend four foot down from the top. Now to bend the tube, this is the tube bender I built. Basically, single piece of, oh, I think that's a two by six, maybe two by eight, I don't know what it was originally. 24 inches long across, and then I came down one and a half inches from the top, drew a line all the way across, and then found my center point, took a piece of poly, or another thin board 
bent it up from here. This would be the edge of the board down to the points that I marked on both ends and then trace that line out. That gave me an arc to bend the tubes across. I then went through with a router and routed out the top of it. That way the tube had somewhere to sit down in when it was on here to bend. Screwed it to another board, put a two by four on top. That actually holds the tube in place. I did find that it torqued up too much, so I had to put another piece on the front, and that's what this is, which just holds this down to this, so this doesn't bend up as much. And you just slip your tube in, do your bend, hold it right there, move that to the end of it, do another bend, and that's how you do the uh, three foot continuous bend on the bottom, and then the single bend up at the top. All in all, it's been a really sturdy, Reliable high tunnel, easy to lift the sides up, just bring them up, flip my clamps in so outside, no problem. Never have gotten around to putting the uh, end wall in, but so far it's been fine. It's blowed around a little bit. Held up to the snow good, sheds real quick. Like I said, I actually built this last spring just simply because the ground wouldn't thaw and I needed a way to uh, start planting. And I happen to have all these connectors laying around that I picked up uh, sometime before that and built this out. Well, hope you all like what you saw here today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all, have a good day. And now for my shameless self-promotion. If you'd like to see this project and many others, check out my YouTube channel at DIY Farmer Keith. Thank you all, have a good day.